Assalamu alaikum guys, my name is Iqlaq, I'm Malik. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this uh, tutorial, we are going to build the tutorial like splash screen. Splash screen is the first screen that you will see when you open any application. Uh, it contains the useful information of logo, application name, slogan, and whatever you want. So let me show you uh, what we are going to build in this tutorial. So let me, I have already made it. So let me show you. So whenever we are going to open this application, so it is going to here, going to heading animation and image in the background. And after the power second, it's going to take us to the Android. So that is the splash screen. So let's, um, we are going to build, build this thing in, this, in our tutorial. So this is our target. So let me quickly open the Android Studio. So let me quickly uh, make a new project here. New project. Um, let me start with an MPT activity and I'm going to name it, name this application as uh, uh, tutor, tutor slash. Okay, so we are going to build this project in the Kotlin. So let me quickly uh, pin, hit the finish button and we're good to go. So it's going to take a while. Oh, then after that, we will start building it. So yeah, the project has been uh, created. So let me quickly uh, make it as a design part first. So I'm going to split the screen and uh, we have to, um, the, our target is we have to put the image here. So I'm going to write uh, in place of text, I'm going to write image um, and I'm going to remove this text here. It's not no use. So after that, uh, after that I have to import a drivable, drivable of the tutor. So in the drivable folder, I'm going to paste the tutor icon that I have downloaded from the internet. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it here. Yes. So this is an SVG file. So uh, we have to make an, uh, vector asset out of it so let me quickly make that as well so new uh, vector asset so we have to space this path so i'm going to app and app i'm going to do ss folder and main then in main we have to uh, resource folder and driver so here's the uh, this is the logo so we have to make a vector, a vector asset out of it so yeah so it has imported as well so i'm going to click the next button i'm going to click this and the finish so now this ha it has made us for the vector asset for us now i'm going to delete uh, this this one is of no use okay so now i'm going to specify the um, source of this file that this is the logo Tutor logo, yeah. So you can notice here uh, it has imported successfully, but uh, it has a bigger size. So I'm going to write the size of it almost 70 dp, and after that 70 dp, yeah. So next thing we have to set the background color to this um, to this screen. So I'm going to write background. Um, so I have I'm going to copy this hex folder. So I'm going to specify it here, yeah. Uh, but it has um, make this uh, visible. So I'm going to change the tint of this image. So it is going to be visible, to be visible. White tint, red color white. So yeah, voila, we have made that, um, we have made that screen design part is ready. Uh, now the second thing is, uh, I don't want uh, the default uh, app bar to be there, so I'm going to quickly remove everything. For that, I have to go to the themes and write it here, no action bar. So this is going to remove the uh, default action bar uh, for us, full bar for us. Um, now I'm going to go to the KT file. So in that thing, uh, what we are going to do, First, I want to make this uh, activity as a full screen activity. So for that, we have to write window dot set flags uh, window manager dot layout params dot full screen flag full screen. So I'm going to copy it again and write it here. So what is this is going? This is going to make our activity in the full screen activity. So that uh, the status bar is will not be visible there. So after that. After that, I want uh, after the four seconds, uh, our this should contain this should go to the another activity. For that, I'm going to use handler. Uh, handler. Let me quickly first. Uh, uh, I have to pass a looper in it. Looper dot my looper. Then after that, I have to write post blade. In that, we have to specify two things. First thing is uh, first thing what we want to do here. We are going to we will write it here. And after that, we have to write in that, uh, the amount of seconds we want to display it. So for that, I'm going to make a public um, static value. Splash, I'm going to name it splash time. Splash time is called to, I'm going to, this is a, this is going to be of type long. So I'm going to write four seconds. Four, four seconds. So I have to specify it here. Now, now after that, um, we want to go to the another activity. So for that, we have to create another activity. So let me quickly uh, make that as well, new. Empty activity. So this is going to be of the suppose I'm going to name it as next activity. Yes. So now I'm I will uh, go to this activity by means of intent. So I'm going to write val intent is equal to intent. So I'm going to pass the current context. This one contain the two context two parameters. First one is the current context, and second is the name of the uh, application name of the activity we want to go. So uh, I have to name it as next next activity class dot in java okay so let me import this thing 
So after that, uh, we want to start the activity. So we're going to write start activity, and we're going to pass that intent. So and and one thing that uh, if a user presses the back button, uh, I don't want it. I don't want him to go to this uh, activity. So I have to finish that activity. So I'm going to write finish. So the user will not. When the user will press the back button, he's not going to get there. Finish. Finish. So yeah. So when we're going to run this, we have successfully created the splash screen. Uh, but one part that is missing that is the um, and that is the animation to this uh, image. So for that, uh, let me quickly uh, first uh, make the binding view binding enable for that everything. So I'm going to write view binding. I will uh, enable the view binding in it in this project. Okay. Now I'm going to sync this project again. Now, now what we can uh, do is um, we have to create an animation file, create an animation. So in the resource directory, we have to create another directory of uh, another resource directory. Of this, it is going to be of type uh, animation. Okay. So we are going to um, make an animation. We are going to name it as uh, fade in animation. So yeah. So we are in this uh, animation. We are going to play with the uh, visibility. Uh, the amount of visible alpha values so alpha I'm going to write it uh, from alpha to 0 0.1 0 0.1 to the full visibility uh, to alpha 1.0 okay and for the duration I'm going to specify the duration I'm going to write duration for three seconds. Okay. So now we have made the animation file as well. Now we have to set the image view to the to this logo. So let me go to the XML part of this main uh, activity main. Let me first initialize the uh, binding. So I have to specify private pair private Binding. So this is going to be content of binding man this thing. So let me initialize this. So how we initialize this? We write binding is equal to is equal to activity man binding. We are going to inflate this binding by means of uh, layout inflator. I want to inflate the view inflate and pass the layout inflate in it and set content view we are going to set the content view to binding dot root so yeah now what we have to do we have to give the name uh, to this to this image view so for that I'm going to write ID IV tutor logo okay um, so now I can access directly the uh, value in this uh, image you binding dot I mean uh, dot send animation animation is equal to so let me quickly uh, make the animation value that we have created so we are going to write uh, fade in animation fade in uh, fade in animation is equal to animation uh, utils dot load animation load animation so we are going to pass this and the animation file name so this is we have specified its name r dot anim dot fade in animation so let me set this animation to this uh, image view okay so yeah so now uh, we are good to go we have uh, done everything let me quickly run this project and see what we have got the project is building and yes launch is succeed uh, so yeah let's go to the next activity so let me first uh, mm, in the next activity we are going to change this background color to suppose uh, black Background color to suppose uh, we are going to specify the background color to suppose purple. Yes. 
so let me quickly uh, run this widget again and see what we have got. So yeah, this has opened the eye with an animation and after the four seconds it's going to the next activity. Yeah. So that was all about today's video. We have successfully built an Splash Twitter like Splash screen. So this was, I think this is uh, all for today. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, like, share and subscribe to my channel so that I can upload the videos at the same time. Till then, I will be seeing you guys in the next tutorial. Till then, bye. Allah Hafiz.